What is going on YouTube? It's me Techno and I'm bringing you another Call of Duty gameplay. Um, this is a game that I did with one of my friends, Logan. Uh, he goes by Toxic Lullaby on Xbox and um, you can't really see him on the map because this is in theater mode, but I want to talk about how bad this lobby really was. Like when I pull up the uh, score, um, the score the leaderboard if I can get the word out the leaderboard up um, you can see that there's barely anybody on the enemy team in this um, in this lobby and it's just there's like three people on the enemy team and they're all camping and on top of all of that it's really bad because they're camping and this is like a big map okay so Imagine how long this game really took us. Uh, now, I'm not going to fast forward through any of this because this really, really is long of a, of a game. Now, I actually end up going positive. I think the final score was like something 12 and 7. But it was so hard for all of us to find anybody because they would either sit back in the back of the map or spawn around uh, that didn't mean it's call of duty we all know how the spawn systems work in this game but um hey i turn around on this guy but the thing is um we just got into this lobby and it was so bad um actually if you saw at the beginning of the video uh i had got the what we call the disc gun uh, which was only supposed to be like a viable weapon, but I got it in a drop, a ranged weapon drop box. And uh, it, it's notoriously bad um, if you're a, um, if you're in a room or you're trapped in a room and somebody just pops that disc in there, it's bad. And you might have seen me. It is a one shot kill. I actually hit somebody at the beginning of the game. I hit somebody with it straight through him. One shot kill every time. Um, and people can take that to an advantage if, and it bounces around the walls. So, um, it's pretty much like a one shot and you get like three kills if people are camping in a, in a room. So that's how you can take care of the campers. But going back to how this lobby is, this is probably one of the worst lobbies that I've ever played in a Call of Duty game ever. And I've been playing Call of Duty for about six years now, uh, competitively at least. And this lobby is probably the worst um and this is like a day four um that i'm recording this but uh me and logan actually live streamed on mixer which i will be hopefully uploading to youtube soon a one hour it's going to be a one hour long video um and you're going to see that the lobbies are even bad in zombies as well so I think the next thing I don't even know about World War II, uh, I heard that the maps aren't that bad, but the lobbies and the servers are what I'm more worried about are how, how, um, how long will people stay in? Like I know Black Ops 2, the only thing wrong with that game was uh, 
dedicated servers um people keep on like host migrating and everything and it would be in the middle of a match but you know i haven't really had this problem but i uh i have had a problem of getting in two lobbies like this that you're seeing right now where there's like three people um now somewhere towards at the end of the video you will see that there are more people in the game now that's good but they don't show up until the end of the game when it finally ends and i think time limit reaches its toll but uh yeah it's treyarch and activision need to work on uh the servers and definitely definitely need to work on getting I, i'm i'm not sure what the word is but servers that stay full and are dedicated with good connection so everybody can have like good connection and the reason why this is so important is because hit detection in this game can be off and be wonky sometimes and the reason why i say that is because you can i have gone back and watched kill cams and on my point i'm like aiming at an enemy directly and i could be shooting him a thousand times and it doesn't make a difference because it just this dude can three shot me and it's it's pretty bad now that i'm thinking about it but um and seeing about how badly i raged at all of those things but uh, yeah i mean dedicated servers definitely um but maybe they can work on servers for different locations for people um who live in high populated areas they can have stronger servers and people who are in more rural areas more than urbanized they can have maybe a little bit less just something closer so everyone's getting good internet connection and good hit detection if that's even possible but that's just something treyarch um and activision itself needs to uh needs to work with with this game but uh yeah this lobby was uh it was definitely something it was really annoying uh going around in it and here i don't know i guess i just didn't see this guy but um yeah i mean hopefully uh the next the next uh few videos that i put up i have better connection because the score would have been a lot higher um more than just 12 kills but i i really felt like this lobby was something to talk about with uh the at least the servers and the connection issues um and i've got pretty good internet um where i live and i can be playing a game with uh, with logan here or he and i can be in the same party same game and uh you know we can hop on the game you know a custom games and we can be just fine no connection disruption problems and then we hop online and then it, we can both be have like connection issues now i don't know if the reason is because i live in the middle of texas and uh, logan lives all the way in florida but i mean it's just it, it's it's kind of off putting to me um how that can happen but who knows i mean if people have an answer to that they can leave that in the comments down below but um yeah, and the, another thing I'm wanting to talk about in this video is hopefully, I know my uh, my mic isn't the best. It can be kind of muffled sometimes. It can be kind of off-putting. Um, and I'm just hoping that I'm not talking too loud. I have to have like the mic closer to my face uh, for it to be a little bit louder. But hopefully, next month, I'll have a better mic and I'll be able to bring better sound quality to, uh, to the... Uh, videos and also when I was going back and I was looking at the stream the headset that I'm using doesn't really pick up my voice quite well I use the same headset to edit my videos on uh, and it doesn't pick up my voice quite well that I've noticed so I'm going to get another gaming headset uh, one that I found that has noise reduction in it and the sounds come out very very 
uh, crystal clear. So hopefully after I'm able to get that next month, if people can just bear with me with the bad sound quality, uh, next month I'll have way better sound quality. You'll probably be able to hear my voice a lot better than what you probably are right now. Um, but uh, hopefully everything works out. Um, I still have to go back through and edit this and see if uh, I'm talking too loud or all that. But uh, yeah, hopefully next month I'll be having better sound. Because um, when I was going through the stream, it wasn't picking up my voice. But you can hear Logan pretty clear, like pretty crystal clear with his headset. So um, I'm wanting to do that because I'm wanting to bring more live uh, live gameplay with me and him. And definitely want to uh, do more videos like that. But uh, coming up here, the game is coming to a close. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give a like, comment, and share this video. I have a goal of 1,000 subs. Please subscribe if you liked it, and make sure to share this channel. And I'll text you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>